Hey, this is Donnie Smith, and this is part two in the DIY door ding repair. And in this video, I am going to show you how to prep the panel, and I'm going to show you a trick that's quick and easy of how you can keep the primer area real small. Now, keep in mind that this is just a spot job, do it yourself repair method. Uh, to do it properly, you know, you'd want to sand the entire door and uh, blend the paint and clear coat the whole door. But uh, that's not the method I'm going to show you here. I'm just showing you a quick method that if you don't have a lot of money and you're not wanting to spend a lot and you're just wanting to improve the appearance of your car, uh, this is just a quick method for you to consider. If you remember in the last video, uh, we repaired these, we put some putty on them, and then we finished blocking it out with 180. And now that it's blocked out, I've got the same block, the paint stick that I was using, and I switched to 320. And now I'm just smoothing those 180 grit scratches out with 320. And, uh, and I'm also going a little bit further just to make sure that all the 180 grit scratches are out. So I'm extending the uh, making the repair area just a little bit bigger with a 320. So I'm going to sand both of those areas uh, real good. And uh, now that I have it sanded, I'm going to go over and I'm going to clean it with some wax and grease remover to make sure it's all clean. You know, get all the dust and anything else that got on there during the repair process. So I got some wax and grease remover, wiped it down, allowed it to dry, and now I'm going to start priming. Now I'm going to freeze it right here and explain a little bit about what I'm doing. I'm just going to use some spray can, rattle can primer on this. But if you'll notice, I've got this, uh, I've got a piece of plastic. It can be, uh, you know, it can be cardboard or anything else. But what I've done is I cut a hole in the middle of it. And uh, I'm going to hold this away from the panel about an inch or so. Then I'm going to spray in that hole. And that's kind of like masking. And also it doesn't allow the primer to go through and splatter and get all over. So this way you can keep the primer area real small. And uh, if, if it's not by an edge or anything, you won't even have to do any masking. Now if it's, uh, you know, if it's close to an edge where it could get into a jam or something like that, you are going to have to do some masking. But uh, these was in the center of the door, so it made it real quick, simple, and easy. Okay, you can see here that I am now priming it. Like I said, I'm holding that about an inch away and I'm spraying through that hole and it's keeping that primer area real small. I'm going to put a coat on that uh, area and I'm going to put a coat on the other area. And just like with any primer, whether you're using a spray gun or rattle can or whatever, it needs to flash off between coats. So I'm going to allow it to flash and now I'm putting another coat on. And I'll put a coat on both of them. I'm going to put two coats and then allow it to dry. Now that I allowed the primer to dry the recommended time, now I'm going to block sand the primer. And to do that, I'm going to use the same paint stick as a block that I've been using. And I'm going to use 400 grit sandpaper. Now, 400 grit is finer. And uh, anytime you're going to be final sanding, you know, getting a surface ready for paint, you need to use 4 to 500 grit. So I'm going to uh, sand this area. And also notice that I'm going extending a little bit past where you know the repair area was that's because this is the area that I'm going to paint now any anywhere that paints going to be applied uh, needs to be a 400 to assure that it's going to adhere properly and stick good so I'll get these two areas that where paints going to be applied sanded with 400 and then I will uh, prepare the area where clear coat will be applied Now I'm going to have to freeze this again, and I apologize because I kind of messed up here and didn't mean to. I'm not trying to skip steps, and I am going to show you what I did, but I thought the camera was recording, and then after doing these next few steps, I realized that it wasn't, so I apologize for that. Okay, now I'm demonstrating how I used 800, and I used 800 anywhere clear coats can be applied, and I went a little bit further out that with with the 800 then I did the 400 to assure that anywhere clear coat was going to be applied it will stick properly where here well and now I'm going over the from the top body line to the bottom body line with 1200 grit and this just to assure if a little bit of overspray gets out there that it will still stick and uh, 1200 can be buffed out uh, I'll probably go after it's painted and cleared I'll go over the panel with some 1500 and 3000 and buff it out then I'm going to use a sandpaper by hand to get the edges 
And notice I have the front door open to get the edge so I don't hit the adjacent panel. And also I open the door when I do the back edge of the door. I'll open the back door. And I'm just sanding all this with 1200. And this can be buffed out, but I want to make sure that if uh, the paint or clear goes a little bit further than I was expecting, that it will stick. And then once it's all painted, I can come back and buff everything. But that wraps it up for this video. I know I had some difficulties, had some problems editing this video or shooting this video and, and skip part of it. But hopefully uh, I cleared it up for you. And if you have any questions, be sure and ask. And uh, if you like this video, be sure and like it and share it with your friends. Talk to you next time.